Hi guys, welcome to Brains and the Beat. If you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're only but goody, thank you for staying tuned to your girl. So if you're new here, hi, welcome, stay a while, listen. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about Kanais Jackson. I don't know if I'm saying or pronouncing her name right, but that is how I'm going to say it. Everybody is liable to get cussed out today because I have been doing this type of content creation for a while and i've seen this time and time again and i think i am a bit tired so let's get into the story and it says the body of a 20 year old canice jackson an accounting clerk of portmore st catherine was found friday morning on dyke road in the parish Reports from the waterfront police are that about 7 a.m. a resident stumbled upon the body and summoned the police. The body was clad in a black shirt, blue blouse, and the remains were in a state of partial decomposition. According to the police, investigations so far have revealed that Jackson was last seen alive on Tuesday, March 23rd. Initial reports were made that Jackson had been missing since Wednesday, March 24th after she had left home for work about 8 a.m. Detectives are awaiting the outcome of the post-mortem to further guide the course of the probe in the meantime persons with information that can assist the police is being asked to call the waterford police at 876-988-1763 or the nearest police station and and the update to that says a man listed as a person of interest in the death of accounting clerk 20 year old K. Nice Jackson is in police custody. The police say he was picked up in the halfway tree area in St. Andrew this morning. He is to undergo questioning. Jackson's body was found along Dyke Road in Portmore. And I'm going to say this. They have picked up so many people in missing people cases and nothing has ever come out of it. So if y'all pick up somebody, make sure that so something actually comes out of it and they get arrested. Example, where is Jasmine Dean? They arrested the person that had Jasmine Dean's credit card and her phone. And up till now, nobody can know what happened to Jasmine Dean. So if you're arresting someone, make sure that you're going to get information as to what happened to, to this girl and why it happened. They just have them in a prison. They take up taxpayers' money. Okay. As far as Andrew is concerned, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to say it with no water in my mouth. Andrew is more worried about what people are saying about him on social media and trying to lock them up. Him coming like the new Kim Jong-un, okay, or Fidel Castro. Him worry about people that talk bad about him and not what's happening in the country and how the country is decaying rapidly. Ra Piddly. Let me go into the reasons why I said this. Over the past 74 days, 300 murders. Four murders in the past 24 hours have pushed Jamaica's murder total for the year above the 300 mark. Within 74 days gone since the start of the year, the police have reported 303 murders across the island. This is 16 more or 6% above the same period last year. Okay? Not only that, they said in an article recently that majority of murders happening in Jamaica happened during the day. And Andrew you know, stop worry about COVID and putting in, in measures to implement or prevent COVID, but he is not. He is not worried about the crime and violence happening in Jamaica. And this is why another reason, me know I hear nothing from no politician, JLP or PNP, but especially not no JLP. And for everybody with your jump up with them green clothes on and them green flag on, me also blame Uno for all of this. Let me say this. In 2019, Jamaica was ranked. 
Jamaica was ranked second in the world for women being killed by their spouses, by the people or the men that they're with. The same year, JLP had the most women candidates ever. In 2020, they won, the women candidates won all their seats and all know they not do nothing. The, them not do nothing for the picnic, them where they get killed and raped and go missing, them not do nothing for the woman, them where they get killed and raped. Them just sit on pan them weddings and keep them mouth shut. So all of who will elect them and put them in there, y'all are to be blamed also. Y'all put people in these positions of power when our business with do no. When our business will happen with to no. When our business will happen to no picnic, then could I care less if them dead live or them have food to eat or opportunities. Uh, tell me this, whenever I hear no politician picnic coming up missing, uh, uh, tell me, Jamaica would have flipped upside down, inside out, if one of them picnic come up missing, okay? Them have generational wealth and this don't affect them. So instead of uh, electing them and putting them in places of power and position of power and have them not do nothing, it better, it better uh, do something else. Don't vote. And to all our social media commentators that actually have these politicians on their platforms and actually promote them for winning elections and stuff, how no feel? How no go bed at night having these people on your platforms and not asking them the issues that are affecting real Jamaicans? Like, what happened to the pit of them that's going missing and can't find? What's going to happen about the woman getting killed and Jamaica ranking second in the world for killing their spouses? How no feel? Because they look friend and company. I no want to say no a friend in high places in a, in a high society. How no feel? How no how no feel about yourself? Eh? Me just want somebody tell me how no feel. But anyways, a lot of artists have come out and talk and popcorn. Not so much you and scatter. Not so much you because them has always talked out or speak out about stuff happening in jamaica but a lot of these artists them they use them platform for any good and i'm very i'm wondering why i this a girl here alone they get media coverage or notoriety from a lot of these artists because plenty of women plenty since 2020 2021 have started have gone missing have gotten killed I mean, I hear nobody said nothing, okay? Nobody says a word. Nobody uses their platform. So I'm confused as to why she is so special. And I'm quite frankly, I think it has a lot to do with pretty, pretty privilege. And I've benefited from pretty privilege. So I know exactly how it works. And I think that's exactly what it is. But needless to say... With all of that being said, something definitely needs to be done. Something definitely, definitely needs to be done. And it needs to be done because you guys put these politicians in position of power and in a business we do not. I mean, I want nobody to come from a video talk about how we always blame government and another government. The doing doing these crimes or killing anyone they anybody they need to put in place measures that will stop these individuals from first and foremost getting away with these crimes getting reduced sentences okay them need to implement hanging okay put make some example also out of some of the mania we continuously pray on women in Jamaican society. With that being said, me go left with what Popcorn have to say. I'm out. Deuces. Oh, one more thing before I drop out this video. Let's talk about a DNA database. Let's talk about the sexual predators or rapist registry. Let's talk about CCTVs everywhere. Me not even now go into all the solutions that I've given and made videos about how to prevent stuff like this to happen. Let's talk about response time for police. 
me not even now go into that because that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day but like comment share and subscribe i'm a part of here and listen to poppy yeah. 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 Yeah.